Should all young people be taught to code in school? Maybe. <laughs> if most of those interactions with computers are going to be based on some belief in some code fairies and magic that makes things work, that doesn't feel like a good way to live. I think they need to understand how those systems work and what it means for those systems to do things in the way that they do them. Coding is the means to help them understand the, the digital equivalent of gravity. We don't exist anymore without programs running around us. It's very hard to do anything without a program running. Once that happens and you start to look forward as to what society might be and how we might all fit in it. You know, my own children, my youngest daughter was a Skype user from about 12 months, right? So our family, our family so their experience of computers are going to be much different from ours. What, what I think is most important though, is those people understand the world they live in. If most of those interactions with computers are going to be based on some belief in some code fairies and magic, that makes things work. That doesn't feel like a good way to live. Coding is a really good way to explain to people how a computer works. If nothing else, it'll tell you how much effort and energy it is to do things. It will tell you how simple the computer is, but how fast it is doing things to give you this illusion of being smart. So I think, Teaching people to code is, or exposing them to coding, gives them that awareness and appreciation. Broadly, they, they allow people to do what, what's often termed computational thinking. They see the world computationally and they understand the ways in which computers might work in the world. Whether you'd anticipate them all becoming programmers or you'd anticipate them all having to program for themselves, I think, is unlikely, but I, I think the appreciation is really useful for them, okay? So you think this exposure to coding is more like taking them to the art gallery or the zoo, so they just get kind of a, a snapshot appreciation for something? I think it gives them appreciation and it will become part of their life. Okay, so, so yeah, the mechanical engineering equivalent of this is, is Lego and Meccano. Okay, we give this to our children, they understand how things are built, how they're constructed, how they fall apart, but they have a working sense of the world in common, right? That they understand the world, how it's built. When a large part of your world is digital, they need to have the same knowledge. They need to know how, the, how those building blocks fit together and what makes them topple. Yeah, okay, so, so people can understand you build things too high, they fall over, or that works, that doesn't work. So I think my position would be that one, is coding is the means to help them understand the digital equivalent of gravity. I think the, the issue here isn't to train everybody to, to be a programmer. I mean, I think people will make selections in, in their life as they, as they develop through, but, it, but it's to put it's to, fundamentally, it's to put computing and coding on the same footing as mathematics. Mathematics is the language of science. It's the means by which scientific things become expressed. So our children are taught mathematics in order to do that. Increasingly, large parts of the world are expressed digitally and through digital manipulation. Teaching people about coding and programming allows them to understand that part of the world. So the big push, um, that we've that we've had in the UK about computing and the whole computing at schools movement has been the orientation they've had to computers and computing technology has been to think of them um, as tools that they use blindly. So it's manipulation and use of the applications. What we really want, um, I would argue, isn't people who can use those applications. It's the people, the generation of people that will write the next versions of these things. Lots of the changes that we've seen in the curriculums um, and changes in the kind of standard curriculum of the UK will introduce the concepts of programming to people earlier, will expose them to it and will let them understand what it means to do that 
at an early age and that will allow people to make some real properly informed choices in their life. So we don't inherit people with any inert skills in programming or code. So we have to actually teach that when they arrive. Is that acceptable to you? I would prefer, I would prefer us under, having a, a more standardised, higher level of um, exposure to computer systems. And to be honest, people knowing they like coding and they like computers before they register for a degree in it um, and have an experience of having done it. It's a particular style of thinking um, that you enjoy or don't. So, and particular aptitudes and particular rewards. And I think people understanding those and thinking about what those mean for them going forward becomes kind of important. Um, I don't necessarily want to get into a debate about people being good or bad at maths or people being good or bad at coding, but there is a sense by which at least kids now know what maths is and they now know what English is and what art and literacy is and they, and they can project themselves going forward as to what those are. Ask people what coding is and they, they don't have the tools to say, do I see a 20 year career doing that? I still think it is one of the most amazing achievements of the world, right? So the fact that I can I could send a message on this device to a colleague in California who will then send it on to your device and this will happen within seconds. And the complexity to make that happen is just stupendous. And people don't think about what's involved in doing that. And I think, I think people understanding that complexity and understand the consequences becomes really quite important for a whole host of reasons. It is because you're old, isn't it? Because, that is. Because there used to be, people used to go and watch planes because they were the most amazing things in the world. I know, I know. I, I, taken is indeed because I'm old. Um, but also though, it has kind of interesting consequences. So as an example of this, um, um, and often this is because information is, is put together and then the wrong thing happens, okay? And I think computing is, is quite good at doing that occasionally. Um, it will just, two plus two equals 12, and it will cause you problems. And knowing those moments when the computer is saying one thing and reality saying another becomes really quite important to us. So um, a more, you know, uh, the, so the one example that springs to mind is um, the couple um, just outside Boston recently after the Boston Marathon incidents where um, the husband bought himself a rucksack um, on the same point when his wife bought a pressure cooker for the kitchen online and the FBI turned up. Okay, So the understanding that the, a computer program somewhere had put those two pieces of information and generated that conclusion becomes quite important to understand what was going on in their lives. And I think increasingly we'll see more and more of the need to kind of think about that and people to kind of understand why certain things around them are happening. You said you had two young daughters. Are mm. you imbuing them with an appreciation for coding? So I think both my daughters show all the ability to disassemble materials, look inside them and try and figure out how they work. I wish that, um, and I will encourage that to be, to not stop at the physical boundary to move on to kind of the, the digital as, as needs be. But equally, if they think it dull, uh, I have no control over my daughters, let's be honest. <laughs>